So I'm Anthony McCain uh, of Fusion Antibodies and I want to be talking about the, the project that we have done in conjunction with the Linen Bien Ally, a project called Translating Linen. And the title of that um, comes really from the idea that we were going to make music based on um, sequences that we derive from, from, from linen, from the DNA sequence, from the amino acid sequences that form the, the proteins and structures that, um, that, that linen is made of and that make linen, uh, the linen, both the flax plant that produces the fibres and the axle fibres themselves, give them the, those unique characteristics that make it such a, such a huge part of um, you know, the, the industrial life of this country. Essentially, the, the, the title itself you know, refers to the, the, the act of translating the, you know, the plant into some form of music. But underlying that, the process of whereby DNA is used as the template to make the proteins that make up an organism is a process which is technically known as translation. And there are many layers which we, we see parallels at, at different times, and the more we looked into the, to, to how this works, we started seeing these these immediate parallels, both in the in in the process and in how the DNA and protein sequences, their underlying structure has echoes of what the 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 structures that underlie music and how it's generated, and the also in the high, the, almost the industrial processing of this material. Um, these machines that we use to generate flax fibers and cloth from, from the, 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 the flax plant are echoed in the biological structures that, um, that, are you, that you happen inside the plant itself. Um, and you can see this sort of quite obviously in how the you know, a, a ribosome, for example, will, will process a, a, an mRNA template and generate a string of amino acids, um, almost threading, you know, generating a thread from, from, a, from a template. Um, and these are the things that we wanted to capture in the piece. Um, and coming to it, we were conscious that uh, having heard, you know, maybe other, other versions, of people doing similar things, um, you know, with other with other plants, they can sound quite random and without w without structure, and that seems kind of counterintuitive because we know there is structure, there is there are underlying forms, there are re repeating motifs um, in every protein. There are you know secondary structural features that give the, the protein its um, its function, and you know this idea that it would just be a random. Set of set of notes isn't isn't what we wanted to capture. So I think looking back then at, at how DNA is structured, we have the, the series of um, base pairs, the repeating base pairs. It's made up of four um, billions and billions of combinations of these four bases that underlay every every protein that an organism has. Um, but those are kind of subdivided into these little triads of three, what we call codons. And every three base pairs is a, a codon which corresponds to one amino acid. And that sort of triad based structure, you know, translates very, very quickly into, you know, you can see immediately the parallel with how, how music is structured, how chords are structured, um, and that we'd have the underlying chord and the overlaying, the, the melody overlaid. Um, so this is really, really key to, to what, we're, what we're trying to do. Um, and again, the, the engine, the idea of these mechanical devices, which, which, which also do that, um, the, pro, the protein that we selected for this um, out, of the, the, out of the linen plant, we wanted is essentially the engine that the plant has for generating the cellulose fibers that make up linen. Um, that enzyme called cellulose synthase is just a, a device for stringing together sugar molecules until they are, which then associate into the into the fibers. So again, that process is very, 
reminiscent of the, the, the industrial process that we see in, in, the, in the mills and the looms. Um, and when we, well, we put it all together, the original concept was to take the, the you know, the ideas from the music that was generated because we were looking back and saying, you know, this, it doesn't necessarily generate successful music. It's an interesting concept, but it's not anything that is particularly interesting to listen to. It just it may as well be a series of random notes. So we wanted to avoid that. And so um, we were thinking we'd take, the, take some of the motifs, some of the nice kind of intervals and motifs from the, that, that were generated through this process and workshop them and, you know, get into the studio and just try and, you know, play through them and, and see what we could put together based on it. But actually, when we applied our kind of principle of you know these using the triads as a chord and using the the amino acid as a as a melody line, suddenly there was a sense of structure to the to the piece. There's a a sense of um, momentum. There's a sense of re recursiveness. There's a and a resolution that is is quite is qu is quite satisfying in itself. Um, so the, I think also. Given the you know the the situation um, with, with COVID nineteen, it was it wasn't really practical for everybody to get together in a room and, and rehearse any anything you know. Um, so we that was when we reached out to NI Screen and with the, with the concept of putting it together as a as a video piece. So overlaying the um, overlaying the musical piece with archive footage and and so on to create a kind of cohesive. Um, Piece, piece of art based on the, based on what we'd done, um, and that became really excite, exciting as well. We reached out to um, a videographer called um, Colin Laverty, took the archive footage that we'd obtained from NI Screen, um, NI Screen's archive, and put it together in in, in in the sense of the music. And then also once we had the archive footage, we realised there was audio generated from the the mills from the the sound of those looms and those spinning machines, you know, had an echo immediately. You know, we'd already had the, the bass music and then we realised the sound of a loom is the same kind of 4-4 rhythm that we, when we, our first version of the track. And we went to see that that overlays. So we then integrated some of the audio material from the archive footage back into the piece, um, using it as the percussive bass. Um, I'm putting a bit of colour into it and making it more of a, an actual, an actual track, an actual musical composition rather than um, a series of notes, and that was really, was really rewarding. Once you see how that works, and then we put some of the, um, some of the the, the footage. It has this really nice um, nostalgic, you know, sort of late '60s, early '70s quality um, in the voices that were there, the voices that were captured you know, narrating this. And you see, uh, strangely, we'd already kind of selected the, the kind of synth as the instrument. We tried a lot of different voices for, for, for how we were re representing the, the notes. Um, and the synth worked in that, in that context. It has that kind of mechanical um, arpeggio um, that, that, that feeds into the, in, into the way the notes works. But it, it, weirdly, in the context of the archive footage, it seems like the right vintage. You know the noise. They, they, a lot of those programs, when they originally were broadcast, had that kind of, um, you know, synthesizer um, sound. So it, it just sort of came together. And, and when, once we finished, we realised that it, it sounds really cohesive. It seems, you know, you know, choices that were kind of tried out on a, on a whim suddenly seem to be really, really solid and, and and draw the whole thing together. So overall, you know, we're delighted to be able to to create this this piece and, and we're delighted with all the support of all the guys that that worked on it um from the from the Lennon Biennale, Art Space Gallery, and Ice Screen, um uh and and now the North Northern Sass Festival. So um I think that all that really remains is to have a look at the actual piece itself um and see how it, see how it sounds.
the Daily Sun. proper language to anyone. Those who interrupted the workers at work or refused to obey the orders of the employer or overseer. Those who smoked tobacco or brought matches or liquor into the works or those who were the worse for liquor within the works. 